Hey, how is it going? If you're new here, I'm Ryan. And in today's video, we're gonna build a pier. We're gonna go up around three feet high. And this pier that I'm gonna build, in my opinion, is the easiest way to build a pier. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you the way how to cut the stone. And the easiest way to farm your pattern in order to lay the stone. The fastest and the easiest way. We're gonna start with a small one first. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna level our first one now. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. After we lay our stone, we wanna put our level up like this across, just to make sure we get everything lined up nice and straight from down there and run it far ahead with the, with the pouch so that we get this one straight in line with the previous one that we already laid. You're gonna see what I mean in a second. Okay guys, as you see here, so as you see I lined up, I, I, I run my string line from that pier that's already laid and line it up down here where we're going to start our second pier. So you want to just make sure that way you have a straight, you have all three pier because we're going we're gonna to do three of them. So we're doing it like this so that we have all three lined up in line. you see what I mean in a minute. So once you catch this one, you want to mark it. That way, no, that way we know we're coming right here. Okay, so we'll finish with our first. Off for now. And if you're new here guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more upcoming videos like this one. We upload videos twice a, uh, a week, sometimes three times per week. All different types of content. Brick, block, stone, concrete, you name it. Be a part of the team. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well. So when you upload new video, you get notified. The way to, to butter it, the face of the stone, you want to basically plaster it first. And then you dry it off. I like to fill here as I go. Later on, you don't have a lot of fillings to do.
guys, as you see here, we have no choice to use um, mostly big, like I, I mentioned really, um, earlier up in the video. We have mostly big stone, as you see, we only have, we only put a small, big, medium, mostly big stone, that's what we have here on this job. They buy way more um, jumbo stone than medium and small. I don't know if they like the looks or they don't know what they're doing or what, but I'm just putting it out there. Because I know you guys might comment, oh, why is he using so many jumbo? So I'm just letting you guys know. So we finish this one now. We're gonna do our drying, right? Drying. Thing. We're gonna pre-do our joint, but later on we're gonna come back and do the wire brush. Once you complete your pier, you wanna go around. You know, you don't use any line. You wanna put your level just like so. And make sure you plumb all four corners right around the pier. If for any reason one of them one of the stone wanna go in, you just use your hammer like so and bang it in a little bit. the pier you want to put a weeping hole I already put mine I'm just showing you right down here at the front but you want to put it at the back so that you don't see the hole later on later on I'm gonna come back and do my joint it's a bit too wet now and that's the weeping hole that I was telling you guys to leave out just in case any water can get away in there later on it can escape through there okay so now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cut our capping to go on top of our, our, our pier. So um, first thing we wanna do, we wanna measure our pier. So it's 16 inches. We wanna catch the center. We wanna, catch, we wanna cut it in half. 16. Go right across, right over. We're gonna cut that in two. Let's sketch the center this way again. 16. Okay, so we're gonna cut this off. And then afterwards, we're gonna cut out here like this. So that so that uh so that go around the post here. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. So let's go and cut this one. Holy! Okay guys, so let's now we're gonna cut it right off first. Okay, so we cut it off. Let's go mark it on the post. Mark it on the post, I think this is the easiest way to do it. You can do it by measurement, but mark it on the post is more accurate. Let's go over there and get it done. So what I wanna do, I wanna share the measurement on both sides. So the column, the pair is 16 inches. We wanna have an inch and a half over here and an inch and a half over this side. Once we have equal measurement on both sides, then we just sketch our mark like this. Once you catch this mark, I'm gonna just remove this. Remember this is eight inches. I don't wanna have inch and a half on this side. So all we have to do is leave inch and a half here. And we know here we have to cut uh, two inches into our stone. So right now we're gonna mark two inches, just like this. So we're gonna put two inches here like that and then we're gonna cut this out like that and this should fit right over right over our post let's go cut or you can use measurement in my opinion I think doing it this way it's more it's better off this way is the easiest way and the most accurate way so you can try and cut it this way if you want to. So guys, once you install it, you want to go underneath. You want to go right underneath and, and basically sight it to know whether or not you need 
is the fix this way or that way. After we lay this one, the next one we're gonna lay is the far, the far end over on the next side and then we're gonna string our line to make sure everything is lined up nice and straight. This one we finish finish install this one remember guys we have three of them we're not going to do the middle one we're going to go all the way over to that one over there after we're going to come back and do the middle one the reason for that we want to can line it up so that we can run a string line straight so we get all of them lined up in line Here you have it guys hope you get value from this video if you do get value from this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're new here hit that subscribe button for more upcoming video like this one thank you for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one peace out